All right, what's going on guys? Dylan here from PlasmaCuttersReviews.com. Got an exciting video for you guys today. I'm gonna be going over these cheap Chinese plasma cutters, giving you guys a transparent view on what you guys are really getting for your money here. And basically giving you all the information you need to decide whether or not these cheaper units are worth it for you. So what is the difference between one of these cheap Chinese plasma cutters, a couple of the popular ones uh, that we have here, the Lotos LTP 5000D, runs you about 500 bucks. A couple of the other popular ones, the Prime Weld, um, Sun Gold Power, only 250 bucks. You know, they're really, really cheap. So what's the difference between one of these machines and then a machine like say the Hypertherm Power Max 30, which will run you about 1400. So what's the difference? Well, really it's the build quality of the machine and the components. Pretty much these Chinese machines, this is, they're making them as cheap as possible. Um, you know, they're trying to make them very very affordable for the people who are not necessarily looking for a professional grade machine so what's the difference these cheaper machines are made for non-professionals and machines like this the hypertherm power max 30 are made for professionals or for people who want high quality tools so if you're someone who buys you know snap-on tools because you want a good warranty good customer service and very high quality tools that will only fail you very very rarely then something like the Hypertherm Power Max 30 is going to be a machine that's going to match that that mindset, that build quality. If you're the type of person that likes to get low price machine uh, tools at say like Harbor Freight somewhere like that, and that's what you enjoy buying, then something like the Prime Weld is going to be a fantastic value for you. So if you're not working in a professional environment, you can get away with using one of these Chinese machines. They do work. They do work as advertised. They will cut half inch mild steel. Um, it you know, there's a little bit of inflate, an inflated claim there. You know, they will cut half inch, but it's not going to be super fast. And if you want to clean cut, you're going to have to go slow. But if you want the top of the line and you're looking and you can afford it and you're looking for something that is going to be hassle free and has the, the best performance, you're going to want to get something from Hypertherm or Miller. Um, the Power Max 30 is our top recommendation. So all this information is stemming from an article we wrote over on our website, you know, what is the best cheap plasma cutter. So if you're looking at one of these cheaper machines, we highly recommend the Lotos LTP 5000D. This is a 50 amp dual voltage machine. It will cut half inch. Lotos has been around for a very long time. This is the second iteration of their machine um, that they've built. The last one, if you remember, it was like a bright red color. Uh, but they've been around for a long time. They produce a quality machine. And the reason this one is $500 compared to some of these other ones that are $300, you know, $250, $225, uh, this has pilot arc, which means when you press the trigger on the torch, the arc will start and you can immediately start cutting. On these machines, they are non-pilot arc. And that's a, a feature that you lose, and that's why it's a lower price. Um, so in order to start the arc of the machine, you have to touch the tip of the torch to the metal. Um, this typically causes your consumables to wear out faster, but you are saving money by, you know, obviously you're only paying $300 versus a machine that costs $500. So that's up to you. If I had to recommend, I think Pilot Arc's a necessity. Um, I really like it, but that being said, if you're using a cheaper unit and you really don't use it that much, um, you can get by without Pilot Arc. It's really not that big of a deal, but I like to have it. You know, once you have it, it's hard to go back. All right, so let's talk a little bit about durability. If you buy something from Hypertherm, like the Power Max 30, you're going to get a machine that's going to last you 10 plus years. I mean, these things are phenomenal. They're built really well. There's a full range of replacement parts that you can purchase if anything does happen to go wrong. And if you have any issues, you can call up the manufacturer. They're super nice. They speak very good English. They're people actually here in the U.S. You know, this machine is built in the U.S. And they'll help you through uh, your situation and get you whatever parts on order. If you ha just so happen to need something, they'll help you out. They're dynamite. They're super good people. I've dealt with them before, and they're fantastic. When it comes to machines like this or this or this or this, these are all made in China. These are coming from manufacturers who are building this, these machines to sell as many as they can. So if you have a problem, replacement parts, honestly, for most of these machines, do not even exist. If something breaks, most often, if it makes the machine unusable, the machine is probably just going to go in the trash because anytime it comes to fixing these machines or putting in replacement parts, 
oftentimes it will cost more than the machine is worth, right? So you're really taking a chance on these machines. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people that have owned these machines. If you go on Welding Web and Pirate 4x4, there's a lot of people that own the Lotus LTP 5000D that have talked, said nothing but good things about it. They've used it for years and it's worked great, right? And then there's some people that have had these machines in a couple months, they have an issue, they go out and they have to turn them in on warranty and get a new one, right? So, you know, the quality with the Chinese machines is not really there in terms of being a professional machine. So if you plan to do heavy usage, I would steer clear of these Chinese made machines. However, if you're a weekend warrior, and you're a guy that just wants to build a bumper for his Jeep, or he wants to build a roll cage, or um, you know, on the bush hog for the tractor, you need to cut out some sections of the deck and re-weld in some new pieces. A machine like this can provide you a really, really good value. You know, you're gonna get in with a low investment, it's gonna work well, and as long as the machine doesn't see a lot of use, it's gonna last you years to come. Um, so it really depends on what you're doing. If you're a professional, go the hypertherm route, spend the extra money, it will be worth it. If you're looking to just get a machine that you're not using very often, a Chinese machine can give you some great value. So one of the things I wanna talk about that's important to these machines that you have to consider is consumables. So torch consumables, if you're new to, the, new to plasma cutters, torch consumables are things that wear out over time as you use your plasma cutter and they have to be replaced. All these machines have replacement consumables. The only issue and something that you need to watch out for is on these Chinese machines, these brands, they go in and out constantly. So, uh, you know, I've been following these machines for a long time and you'll have a machine that's very popular and all of a sudden it disappears and then something else replaces it. And what, what the reason that's an issue is because the consumables for that machine will also disappear. And that could be problematic if you don't have spares because you're stuck with a machine that you don't have consumables that will work. So that can be an issue. So if you do buy one of these Chinese machines, be sure to buy some extra consumables. As you can see here on the Lotos, you can buy a huge pack of consumables for like 90 bucks and that will last you, if you only use your plasma cutter a couple times a month, I mean, that'll last you years to come, right? So if you do buy one of these machines, I would recommend buying a large amount of consumables to be sure that you have replacements just in case this machine does disappear. Um, for some reason, but the Lotos has been around for a long time. Like I said, this is the second version of their machine and they still do have great support for their parts. Um, these other brands, these are all based on the Cut 50D platform. These are actually all the same machines uh, that are rebranded under uh, whatever brand decides to take them and the trim is a little bit different. So finding consumables is very easy right now. However, in the future, it might get a little bit more difficult. Um, so always buy spares, but like I said, these are good value machines if you're using them in the right environment. So the last thing I want to recommend uh, is which which of these cheap machines do I recommend? So first off, the Lotos LTP 5000D is your best value because it has that pilot arc feature, which I think is very important. Um, 500 bucks, you're getting a good machine. You can buy consumables for very cheap, and it's a proven machine. It does work. You can look it up. There's a lot of people out there that have this machine are happy with it. So I recommend reading through the reviews on Amazon, checking it out. I will post links to all of these machines in the video description um, that are in this video so you can check them out. But uh, yeah, Lotos would be my number one pick for a machine under 500 bucks. After that, I would go with the Prime Weld. The reason I would go with the Prime Weld is because it comes with three year warranty. If you look right here in the description, it says three year warranty. That's going to be huge if you have any issues, you know, one, two, three years from now, you can get a replacement unit, which I think is very important. Um, another thing I like about the Prime Weld is the torch. The button on the torch is different from the other ones. It actually has a larger button, so when you're wearing gloves, it's easier to press. That's another huge thing uh, that can be very important. Um, as for... As for the top of the line units, if you're if you're looking for a professional style machine, I would recommend the Hypertherm PowerMax 30. It's a dual voltage machine. It closely, uh, it, it's it's most it's a, it's closest brand to these style machines. However, if you're looking for a strictly a 220 volt machine, I would definitely go with the Hypertherm PowerMax 45. That is without a doubt the best bang for your buck. Um, and if you go over to my website, PlasmaCutterReviews.com. Um, I have buyer's guides and everything for all of these machines, and you can uh, read about my recommendations for the best machine for whatever you need. Um, and as always, I'm always open to answer your questions in the video descriptions if you guys have any questions. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. 
These Chinese machines, they're kind of like Harbor Freight tools. They, they work great straight out of the box. If you don't use them a ton and you don't beat them up, they will continue to work. However, if you're a professional, you're really going to want to upgrade to that higher end Hypertherm or Miller machine. That's going to be your best value. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this answers all of your questions. And if you guys have any more questions, feel free to post them below. All right, have a good one, guys. Good luck.